can't resist this opportunity. I'm in the high desert for a few days visiting old friends and family. I'm doing, you can see my old painting clothes. I'm gonna be doing a couple days of just odd construction projects. Some people say love with gifts. Some people, um, you know, give their time, like to, like to cook. I like to do construction. That's a great way to say I love you. So anyway, I'm gonna go and do some painting and yard cleanup and whatnot, but I just wanted to share one of my all-time favorite construction projects. These are uh, sheds which were built over a couple couple years. These are friends of the family that I've been doing work for for about five years. I wanted to share my probably favorite project I've ever gotten to participate in. I'm going to turn the camera around and wait till you see this. All right, so my third framing project about two years ago I got to build the two sheds on the left and of course I'm a, well I was a painter for years so it was really fun to get to see them from absolute bare dirt nothing there to finished another gentleman super skilled and inspiring carpenter built the one on the right and helped me well, it was a kind of a joint project. I was basically an apprentice for that, but I was really stoked with the symmetry. And this guy was built by someone else. This one was a prefab from Lowe's, but that was a fun project. However, that's not what I brought you back here to see. Ta-da! Pirate Ship Playhouse, one of my absolute, it was a f dream fun project, really. I'm going to take you on a tour. I did all the painting, did a bunch of the carpentry. Um, I worked with the homeowners, Bob and Debbie, and really three other, yeah, it was a four-person project. It took about two, uh, six months, I think, for the actual construction. It was a weekend thing on and off, but it's called the Marche. A zip line still needs to be installed, but my goodness, this was fun. I'm, I remember this one. It was a bit of dirt and wood chips, nothing else but the tree over there. So I had no part in the crow's nest. I was working in Santa Cruz at that time, but I did a lot of the trim, did all the painting, staining. I did not install this walkway. Uh, yeah, it was a joint project, but not many of you have seen this side of me. It's been quite a few years since I was a construction worker, but let's take a look inside. First of all, we have a door. I did the ceilings with trim that size. You didn't have to be too precise. The details are what makes this bed in the front. I did all the paneling with the assistance of Bob, who's so fun to work with. It's the details. Many parties are hosted here. Oh gosh, I learned so much on this. It was a blessing. Let's go upstairs. basic stairway. I did all the paneling. The wood work was window frames were made by somebody else, but I did all the walls. Uh, the floor was made by someone else when I was working out of state. I did the ceiling. Despite the appearance, these are just a very affordable cut to size, glue and staple. Little kitchen let's see i think they were sold as backsplash panels at lowe's they look so classy though i did absolutely none of the electrical work i don't know thing one about electrical we've got two slides accessed from there and there's another you'll see shortly i did not make the door that was the creation of a very high-end carpenter with very solid materials super proud of that but go bob and debbie the creativity of these homeowners is just amazing. They're lovely, lovely people. Nice little railing there. We have 
have a entirely home worthy solid not sense sizable right there and double mast we went on a fun little weekend thrifting excursion looking for well the detail decorations we found this ship's wheel i believe as well as these really beautiful antique lanterns shut the door so you can appreciate both of those beautiful pieces we found those out at a thrift shop in oro grande there's been a little bit of damage to this trim i did i did all the painting and trim work up here so i'm pretty proud of it but that was uh, damaged in the last six months when i've been in new zealand so that a little bit replaced a bit of weathering has taken place but nothing outrageous it can be recoded here's the awesome bird proof crow's nest here's a one slide climbing net two slides there's the tree there's awesome little storage sheds yeah, I just felt massively lucky to get to participate in a project like this. It was in fits and starts. I'd work on it in the spring whenever I was in the area or I was living here for a month. Anyway, it's a bit of a digression from what you all are used to, travel and national parks and whatnot, but this was old Monique, paint covered, dirty, cut. Yep, it's fun to be back. Happy spring. It's great to be around people that care about us and it's fun to see old projects and old happy loving faces. Great to get hugs. Bye everybody.